Hello, in this video we will build Java REST API with Spring Boot and we will use Maven, Java and Spring Boot version 3.1.0 and we go to start.spring.io website and generate our bundle and add our dependencies Spring GPA for working with database, Spring Web for RESTful web services, Postgres driver for connecting to Postgres database, and also I will use Lombok for generating boilerplate code. So here we I downloaded this file and opened in IntelliJ IDEA. And let's also add properties to connect to our Postgres database. I would choose database name REST API. And here I need to insert path to my database. Also, I need to insert credentials, user and password for connecting to database. And also I need to specify configuration to automatically generate tables for my database from Java data models. So we don't need to create tables manually. All tables will be created by Spring itself. Here I'll create new data model user. There would be fields long ID and string name. It has entity annotation. And we specify table name underscore user. And two fields ID and name. We don't need to generate getters, setters and constructors. This all is provided by a Lombok dependency. And we just need to insert these annotations. Here would be annotation ID for ID and it would be generated automatically. And also specify name for the column name. This is the same as auto and we can omit this generation. And let's also create our database REST API. So database is created and we connect it to it. And let's run our project. So Spring is starting. And let's check if our table user has been created. And we see our table user. So Spring created this table. Let's create also new data model order. Here we can pay, paste all our annotations from the user entity. Here we see all arcs constructor for constructor and no arcs constructor for empty constructor and we specify table name orders. Here we have two fields, prior and long ID, auto-generated and 
order number. That would be string. Also, we specify the name of the column, order underscore number. Here we add dependency of user because user can have a number of orders and we have many to one relationship. User underscore ID here is his correct syntax and check our database and we have also table orders. And let's see this the type data types of these tables and we can see that orders has foreign key to user id and this is many to one relationship and also we see this reference from table user let's create package repo where we'll have repository for user and order to connect to our database using GPA. Here we have two interfaces for user and for order, which will receive user and output long ID. Both interfaces extend GPA repository And we can use boilerplate methods to receive, for example, user by ID. And we will get the list of orders. We should implement interface list. And let's create controller for user. We will have annotation rest controller and our path to controller would be users for user controller. Also we use annotation auto wired so as to use methods from our interface order repository and user repository so as to work with database and we will have get mapping to list all users and here we will use our repository to return all users methods find all find all for receiving all users here we'll have methods for creating user we will take parameters from body. All parameters are fields from the entity user and we will save this user to database. Also we will have post method for receiving all orders from user for new order for user and as a parameter we will take path from url its user id and body order all these fields relate uh, are related to our order entity that we will receive in body request and here we get our user by user id as we received from path 
and we will have exception in case user is not found. Then we should save our order for the user. And we use set user as was auto generated by Lombok. Here is our dependency user. And let's also create new exception resource not found exception and we create new class and extends runtime exception. And we use super to pass string to our parent exception. Let's run our project. Here we can see that it is started and let's write new request to create a new user. Here we write localhost port 8080 and slash users slack and as body we provide all information for our user we just need to insert name for our user one field and he, here I need to remove one slash and we see that our user is created with a d1 it's Tom that we just sent and let's check our database and here we can see that our user was inserted into database and here we can get orders from users with ID 1 and we see that Tom has no orders. Let's also add controller for orders. Here we will have the same REST controller annotation and request mapping would be slash orders. We also add out of our dependency of our order repository so as to use methods to work with database. And we write method get all orders to receive all orders from database. And we can also get order by user ID. This would be also get method and we use data from our URL. And we will receive orders by user ID. And also we create post mapping to create new order. and save it to database. And let's also debug our controller. 
when we send request from postman. So we write our body, it would be JSON type and post request. And again, we can see our entity order with fields ID of order and order number and user. And also we insert this data in our post request in Postman. So all data we send to our request and here we debug and see our data that we sent. So everything is correct. And if we check our database, we see that our order was inserted in database for the user with ID 1. So once more time, we created a new user with ID 2 and we inserted an order for this new user. And if we debug our application, We, see, we can see data that we just sent and this data is inserted in database.